What's up everybody, MonkeyDo22 here, and I thought it was about time to do another update for the Nickelodeon Studios build. And uh, this is no April Fool's joke. I know it's been about a year since the last update, but I thought you guys might like to see uh, what I've got in store for you guys. So let's go ahead and walk through the gates here. This is where I'm actually going to have some sort of uh, Nickelodeon Studios entrance sort of thing. So it's kind of like a turnstile area. But as you can walk out in front right now, you can see that we've got a Reptar hanging up on top of the uh, the Nickelodeon Studios building right there. And if you just pan over to the right and look, we've got Tommy Pickles, we've got Patrick Starfish, and we've got Arnold from the Hey Arnold series there. The idea is to basically have pixel art going all the way around the uh, build here and that's basically to kind of give it more of a, uh, a more of an interesting backdrop of things to look at here you can see all of these different buildings in the backgrounds here i'm just kind of thinking for just you know office buildings different sorts of things like that originally the idea was to do kind of like a universal studios build so i was going to have a whole bunch of different things but i just like yeah i think i'll just focus on the nickelodeon aspect as of right now so uh, as we walk over here uh, i'm going to show you this is the slime geyser at least the version one that I have on it right now. I actually would like to uh, retool it to uh, kind of make it look a little bit more unique, a little bit uh, uh, more interesting here. I'll get a little bit higher perspective. Uh, I would like to find a way to make the water green because of course this is green slime, not blue. Uh, so if you know of a way to do that in uh, Xbox One Minecraft, do uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, over here we have the uh, kind of like the uh, lines uh, to enter the studio. Uh, right now, this is not an entrance, although it will be at some point, uh, but it's just a kind of an empty area right now. I kind of did this checkerboard motif as we go along uh, the perimeters here. I just thought it kind of added a little bit of a uh, little bit of texture to the world. That way it's just not all stone. Uh, but let's go ahead and move over to uh, Studio 17 and kind of take a look at that right now. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to say right now. Uh, I will say this, uh, this is going to be a building here that I'm actually going to make a roller coaster in. Uh, it's actually not very big right now, but this is going to be the station area where you kind of, uh, you get on the ride and you get off the ride and it'll, it'll take you out towards the, uh, the roller coaster as it is. Uh, I'm not really the best at building roller coasters. I haven't even done anything yet with it, but that's what my plans is for that right now. So studio 17, there's nothing in here yet. Uh, studio 17, uh, Studio 18, and Studio 20, uh, these are all carbon copies. I basically recreated all of them, and you can see I've started to build up the black uh, outer line of these uh, walls here uh, so I could get set up to put another uh, show in or whatever I want to do with this particular building here. Uh, as we take a look over here, uh, this is kind of what I thought might be maybe a gift shop, something like that. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and head on to the ground over here. And we'll go ahead and climb into the studio itself. Uh, now, as you can kind of see over here, I do have um, some slime coming off the buildings. I thought that kind of gave it a nice little texture here. Uh, same thing. This will be an entryway for uh, folks to get into the studio. Of course, stage 19 uh, or storage, a stage 18 uh, is Legends of the Hidden Temple. And I'll show you a uh, updated version of that as well. Uh, here's the stairs. Uh, it originally would lead you up here uh, into a little atrium building, uh, another way that would take you down into the actual studios, but I'm actually going to rework this area, uh, but this is going to be kind of like a little uh, seating area, maybe an overview of actually what's going on uh, in the studio behind here, so I'm kind of thinking about things to do with that. Uh, in actual real life, that isn't actually an escalator. And on the other side is the Nickelodeon Game Labs. So that's something that I'm considering putting in as well. Uh, but as we head into the studio here, uh, this is kind of the entryway that I have as of right now. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I really want to do with it. I would like to do something else to give it a little bit more pop. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've got over here. Uh, this is TBD right now. I don't have anything going on yet. Soundstage 19. Uh, this could be Nickelodeon Game Labs. This could be maybe a Double Dare set. I'm really thinking about doing that. Uh, having the stage set up and having the obstacle course you can run. Uh, nowadays, uh, Minecraft for the console versions have a lot more uh, different things that you can do uh, in terms of like different obstacles and things like that. So I'm really... Um, Hardcore thinking about doing that as soon as I iron out guts, and that's pretty pretty well done. Uh, of course, I've got Legends of the Hidden Temple here at Soundstage 18. 
And as you can take a look at this, this is a, a lot different uh, than it was the last time I had this video. Uh, the slits in the roof here, this is just to bring natural sunlight because it's a lot easier to work uh, when you have actual sunlight here. But I wanted to kind of get that, uh, um, the roof kind of built so I could kind of see what the lighting would look like afterwards. Uh, this is my sorry Olmec. Um, sorry. Um, I didn't really know what to do uh, with an Olmec, but I thought that kind of looked pretty good. Uh, as you can see, I've got a little bit of the uh, temple run starting to get done. Um, since this is Minecraft, it's not very easy to recreate everything. Uh, here would be the cave of size. You got a kind of a way to go down. I've got a way to go up. Um, you know, there's different kinds of things you can do in Minecraft, but I'm kind of putting my own twist on them. Uh, this is kind of the king's storeroom, although basically it's a bunch of treasure chests because, hey, you know, the king has treasure chests. Uh, basically, you'd have to find the switch, put it on the wall. That'll open the door that'll lead you through into this room here. Uh, it's not finished yet. I pretty much just got the layouts going right now. Kind of an idea of what I think that I'm going to do. Over here is kind of the uh, the pit. Uh, so this is kind of a way to go down. You can go down through the waters. You can go underneath. Uh, you can go up through these doors here. You have a little switch set up that only one of them will unlock. And you can go along uh, to the next rooms. Uh, this is all unfinished. I haven't quite uh, built it out just yet. This is still a work in progress. Uh, Guts has been my primary focus as of right now, but uh, I will show you kind of the back the back side here so you can kind of get an idea. I did leave quite a bit of space here, so if I want to do redstone work, I do have the ability to do that. And uh, all of that will be kind of wired up with redstone. Uh, eventually, there will be a spot for temple guards as well, because if you'll remember in the show, there was uh, three temple guards assigned to protect three specific rooms. And uh, that's going to be the same thing with this version. Here's another of my uh, redstone creations right now. So that's what we've got right here. There's really nothing else to see behind here. So I'm just going to kind of zip around and uh, give you kind of an overview shot. This is kind of what it looks like right now. Uh, now I will have to create a uh, sort of a moat and I will have to create some sort of a uh, steps of knowledge challenge area as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up having to keep that in the same studio or maybe move it outside. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'd like to keep everything inside the studio ideally. Um, it's also, as you can kind of see here in the corner, um, the way the temple run works is if you're going up and going around, you'll have to go around this corner. Uh, actually, in real life, it does not have a corner. It's just a straight line. Uh, so I've actually considered erasing that part and kind of redoing it. So it's all kind of one straight line uh, along the back wall. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do that or if I'm just going to leave it as is. We'll kind of see when we get to that point. So let's go ahead and jump down and let's go ahead and take a look at the Nickelodeon Guts, which is pretty much finished at this point. I'm uh, just doing some fine tuning, some reworking. As you guys probably saw the last uh, Nickelodeon Studios or Nickelodeon Guts pilot episode uh, that was filmed in this Soundstage 20 uh, about two weeks ago as of the posting of this video. And here you can see the most updated version. Uh, in the pilot, you did see a couple of different things. Um, as far as the obstacles for Tornado Run, I've reworked those since that uh, episode was filmed. Uh, here we have now the lily pads that you have to go across, kind of like these uh, uh, rapids that you have to navigate as well, just in case if you fall off, it gives it more of a challenge. I have actually extended the uh, elastic jungle there. I've got some more uh, uh, spider webs in there to create some more challenge and difficulty there. I've added another wall for users to climb over here because we noticed that some folks were cutting the corner here. But uh, we wanted to make sure that folks were staying on the track for that. And I reworked the start and finish line. Instead of having these uh, little pressure plates, uh, now we have the strings that kind of activate and trigger those uh, start gates. Uh, on top of that, instead of the door maze, I went ahead and redid it. It's now an ice maze here. So you'll actually have to uh, scamper along the ice and getting around all of those different fences to get past that obstacle uh, before you get to the lily pad jumps here. Uh, the bullseye, uh, that hasn't changed. Uh, this is still the same thing. Uh, I might be reworking those uh, targets a little bit. I just don't think they look very aesthetically pleasing. Um, so that's something that I'll take a look at. Uh, the pool here. Uh, this is basically a, a game where you will get into a rowboat and you will have to navigate around these spider webs and you'll have to light up each of these different buoys here. And the first person to navigate and collect all of the buoys or at least light them all up and get back to the starting line where I'll have another buoy here to end it uh, will be the winner. The fastest time wins, of course. Uh, so that we have there. Uh, now I will show you this area. This is something that uh, if you haven't seen the Nickelodeon Guts pilot, uh, you would not have seen this area yet. This is brand new. Uh, I went ahead and created some more 
um, events over in this area to kind of get uh, more events to go in and keep the game fresh. Uh, so here I went ahead and I increased the amount of targets that are on these boards that the users will have to shoot at. And then I have the uh, Make Your Mark. I made that wall a little bit bigger, uh, added another notch there. So we have a more uh, opportunities for uh, different points and different uh, height jumps. This here is the uh, kind of the longest jump. Uh, this wasn't seen in the pilot, so this is the first time you guys are seeing that. Essentially, you run and you jump off and the furthest jump wins. Uh, you'll land in the sand here, so that's kind of how that one works. Uh, it's kind of a cool little event there. I try to do my events based off the show. This one's a little bit different. There is no such thing as a target shoot. Um, so that's kind of that. And now the, the creme de la creme that everybody really cares about, uh, the aggro crag. I've actually reworked this uh, since the pilot and since the last time I did an update video. As you can kind of see here, it's a little bit different. Instead of it, basically, you'd go over the boulder canyons and then you jump straight up. Now you actually jump down. Like in the show, you have to hit the actuator and then you run up a uh, switchback bend. So now I actually have this here and then you kind of go up here and you'll go up and hit the other target. And then you'll come back and then you'll actually have to climb up here. And then you'll have another target you've got to hit. And then you'll go around here, hit the other target. And, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of different things. Uh, that you'll actually have to navigate now. That's a lot different from the last time the aggro crag was run uh, in my show here. So uh, yeah, and all three sides are identical uh, to each other. So there is no uh, uh, no sort of uh, you know advantage to being red, purple, or blue. Uh, I will be adding a few more like spider webs and things like that to kind of give it a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, but yeah, I've also increased the height of the ceiling a little bit because I thought that was a little bit low and it looked really awkward on film. Uh, so I have that, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's going to be about it for the updates here. Uh, there's really not much else to see. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys have any comments or suggestions for uh, different things to add uh, to the Nickelodeon Studios build, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I know I've seen some folks asking about a time capsule. Uh, that's a great idea. I am going to put that in. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, that is something that I will be doing in the near future. Uh, if you have any ideas of things to do for these buildings over here, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you have any ideas for uh, characters that you maybe would like to see uh, me wrap around the entire build with, uh, do let me know about that as well. Um, yeah. Uh, anything that you guys have on your mind, um, I'd love to hear it. Uh, I'd love to give your comments, love to get your feedback. Uh, if you are interested in this build and you'd actually like to see it yourself, um, I am about to open up auditions uh, for folks to actually play uh, the Nickelodeon Guts uh, game that I have. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, I will have an open house time for people to come and kind of tour it and kind of see it and uh, all that different kind of stuff. I know there's a lot of different YouTubers out there uh, that would love to get their hands on this and actually kind of tour it a little bit uh, to make some content for their own channels. I love that idea and I'd love to have more folks come and visit. Uh, so if you're interested in that as well, please leave a comment. Uh, I will definitely try to get in touch with you and see if we can't work out a time for you to come and kind of tour the uh, premises. Um, yeah, would love to do that as well. Yeah, so with that said, I'm MonkeyDude22. Thank you so much for watching this video. This has been the April 1st, 2017 update of the Nickelodeon Studios Minecraft build uh, for Xbox One. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends. I'd love more people to actually get a look at this thing because I know this is uh, everybody's childhood. I know it's mine as well. So thank you again for watching, everyone. Please subscribe for more, and I will catch you in the next video, guys.